What's up guys, this is Jolin here and today in this video, let's unbox and review the Bose AirDopes 441 Pro, a truly wireless Bluetooth earphones and let me help you make a purchase decision. Bose is a leader in audio accessories with a wide range of audio products and amongst them is the Bose AirDopes 441 Pro. So are these any better? Let's find out. So now as for the unboxing, this is all what we get in the box. I purchased them at a price of around 2,499 Indian rupees from Amazon India and I will leave the Best Buy links in the description below if you guys are interested in the same. Now just to give you a physical overview, on the top of the charging case we have the board branding, then on the front we get the battery indicator LED, battery indicator button, USB type C charging port and a USB port for power bank. Then inside the case we have a magnetic charging contact pins and on the earbud we find the ear flag, touch area, microphone and on the back we have the charging contacts. So as for the build quality, the case is made up of plastic which looks good enough and it comes in a matte black color which doesn't look cheap at all. There is no movement of the earbuds inside the charging case at all as the magnet is strong enough to hold the earbuds in its place. The earbuds on the other hand are also made up of good quality plastic and they, and they too don't feel cheap at all. So overall I was satisfied with the build quality of the earphones. Connecting the earphones to your phone was very quick and easy. Simply turn on the Bluetooth on your smartphone and then take out both the earbuds from the charging case. So then open the Bluetooth search interface on your phone and locate the board, board AirDopes 441 and then click connect to pair your earbuds with your phone. As for the touch controls, the touch area is big enough and it's easily accessible. Oh yeah, the touch response wasn't the quickest but it got the job done. Single tapping on either earbud will play or pause the music and to answer or end a call. Double tapping on the right earbud will skip to the next track and double tapping on the left earbud will return to the previous track. And finally, long pressing for 2 seconds so on either earbuds will activate the voice assistant. So it's also worth noting that these are IPX7 water and sweat resistant so you can use them while working out. The Bose AirDopes 441 Pro comes with Bluetooth 5 technology and it has a range of approximately 10 meters. After approximately 10 meters of walking away from the phone I felt a slight stuttering in the music. So as for the music playtime, I managed to get approximately 5 hours of music playback on the earbuds alone and, and around 140 hours combined with the charging case. It's also worth noting that the 2600 mAh charging case can also be used as a power bank so in emergency situations. The call quality on the other hand was decent I would say and I rarely got a complaint from the receiver's end. As for the charging time, I managed to charge the earphones with the charging case from 0 to 100% in approximately 1.5 hours. Now coming to the comfort, uh, there are three different types of ear tips included in these earphones so I imagine one of them will fit your ears nicely. I use the default tips and I have had no problems at all. The earbuds are angled slightly forward so that sound fades right into your skull and they stay in my ears most of the time. So even while walking or jogging, I notice they stay firm in my ears but if you do some rigorous movement of your head, then they may fall off. I haven't had any discomfort from the earbuds and the silicon tips are soft and non-irritating. As for the latency, 
the board's air dopes 441 Pro don't have any super low latency mode but I noticed a very minor delay uh, to no delay at all when I played the game of Call of Duty Mobile and no lip syncing issues while watching videos. So when it comes to latency, I was really satisfied and happy with these earbuds. Now coming to the sound quality, the Bot Airdopes 441 Pro sound good in my opinion and are quite loud as well. The drivers pump a good amount of bass and with a punch to it. If you are a bass lover, then this won't get you disappointed but the bass get a bit exaggerated at higher volumes for bass heavy songs and the vocals get kinda lost in it. The highs and mids so on the other hand were good to my liking, so I could easily distinguish between them while listening to different types of music. The vocals were good and clear but again at higher volume the vocals got kinda lost in the booming bass. You can also use one earbud at a time if you don't want to use both the earbuds and it works well with calls and music although you won't get that stereo effect which you get while using both the earbuds. I would rate the Bote Airdopes 441 Pro 8.5 out of 10 uh, purely on music basis and 8.5 out of 10 for the build quality. So finally as for my verdict, the Bote Airdopes 441 Pro is a good set of earbuds especially considering the price. Uh, the sound quality is really good and you'll really pick up on everything that your music recordings have to offer. The build quality is fine, great battery life and also has the feature of a power bank in emergency situations. The only place I felt it could be better is with the boomy effect with regards to bass. So if you're a person who like a lot of bass in your music, then these are for you. But if you are someone who is a true audiophile, then you might not like these and you should be looking somewhere else. So guys, that's it for the video and I really hope you liked it. If you did, then kindly hit that thumbs up button and if you didn't, you all can vote it down. Do subscribe to me if you haven't and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video goes live. So until next time, you guys take care. Ciao.